Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have been doing well. We are out today on a job that we're gonna be doing a bunch of trimming on. It's just all along the front of a house that the landscaping for the last, if I had to assume, probably three to four years has been neglected, has never been touched. So we're gonna be doing a bunch of trimming of the hollies that are all along the front of this house here behind me. As you can see, all along the sidewalk there, all the way around over to the other corner of the house. So let's take a look at those real quick and jump right into this job. So we'll start here on this corner. As you can see, this holly has kind of taken over this house really. A lot, all of them have, it goes all the way up there. And you can see all the way around the front here, like I just showed in the beginning of the video. These things are pretty tall, they're pretty thick, and I would imagine it's probably been four, five, six, maybe seven years since these things have uh, even been touched. So we're gonna get everything cleaned up out here, get it all trimmed up, looking good. The homeowner is actually gonna be selling this home. Nobody currently lives in it, but it goes all the way over here to this corner of the house. Sorry, trying to get that glare out of there, but all the way over here to the corner. So all along there. So let's jump right into what we're gonna be doing. Today's weapon of choice is going to be the steel KM131R with the articulating hedge trimmer on front there. I have the pole saw attachment out because there are some thicker branches that I really, I really don't think that that hedge trimmer is actually going to be able to slice through. But we also have the three foot extension that I'm probably going to have to use to get to the very top of these because there's no way that I'm gonna be able to reach. I don't actually have a ladder, so I'm probably just gonna back my truck up over there to be able to just get the, the tops of all of these and knock them down just a little bit. And that should be plenty of, plenty of room because that thing has a lot of reach when you put it all together and uh, get it on there. So let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up and get started. Just wrapped up with this bad boy 
I uh, threw the, if I mentioned earlier, I threw the uh, pole saw attachment on because I went ahead and did a fairly heavy pruning of the bottom of these hollies all along the front of this house. Now, you can kind of see the sidewalk's right about here. So I just got to come back and clean all this crap up, get it all up, as well as that pile back there from that tree that I knocked a couple of the branches off of as well because they were uh, just barely touching the back of the house. So trimmed all up along through here. Now you can actually access the sidewalk. There's, you can get to the house now. As before, you had to walk pretty much out where I'm at right now, which is out in the yard. So we'll get all of this cleaned up and then come back, got a bunch more debris and stuff over here and off into the edge of the woods over there. We'll come back, get all this up with the dump trailer, and get it all out of here, and we will finish this job off with a fresh grass cut. We're gonna mow the lawn uh, before the owner comes and actually lists this house onto the market. So, come back, knock out what, this isn't much of a yard, it's not very big, and the backyard's not very big either. But we're gonna come back, get the grass cut, get it all knocked out, and uh, hopefully we'll film some more content if my phone doesn't die again. All right, we're back with the dump trailer. Got it right there. We're gonna get all this debris up, get all this crap up over here and the stuff up there and that pile over on the other side of the house of those uh, larger, thicker limbs that I chopped up into smaller pieces. So we'll get this all cleaned up and uh, work on just a little bit of fine tuning and get some of the details knocked out. just getting all the small crap out of there and we got this trailer loaded now I'm gonna take this load to the place that I get my mulch I can just dump it there and they they're a uh, recycling facility so they'll go ahead and turn this back into mulch so that is that load all cleaned up and we are ready to rock all you have to do now is cut the grass everything is all cleaned up got these trees all trimmed up can get to the walkway now get to the sidewalk and that is a wrap on this one turned out pretty good definitely uh, able to see the house a little bit more now which was the ultimate goal here went ahead and cut the grass as well but now this custom if you guys remember earlier from the earlier part of the video this whole corner here I mean the tree limbs were growing out to like here to this first uh, column that goes up this garage door here. So definitely a lot cleaner. Clean the whole front end of this house up. Like I said, you can get to the sidewalk now. The tree limbs were out to about here on this whole sidewalk. So definitely, uh, definitely much better. Looks a lot cleaner. And uh, 
now this customer can uh, get back into their house or the I should say the new potential owners because this house is for sale so hope y'all enjoyed now let's get it uh wrapped up all right we are all wrapped up with this one don't mind my uh my little modified sweatband here it is brutal out here today this entire week around here has just been nothing but a real feel of 105 to 108 and today is no different than that we had some storms last night but it really didn't cool it down much in fact it just brought in a lot of humidity it is so humid out here i want to say within the first probably minute of me being out here this morning i was absolutely drenched and i have not dried off since I don't know if you guys could tell, but I was kind of losing steam there uh, towards the end of the recording. Uh, you know, this this was one of the most difficult trimming jobs that I've ever tackled, uh, especially being solo. You know, having to load all that stuff by hand, that was not easy. Uh, there's no good way to put it. It just sucked. But, you know, thank God for this dump trailer. Now I can just push a button and dump the entire load out don't have to worry about hand unloading it at all anymore and that that right there to me is an absolute lifesaver so got the truck cooling down I don't know if you can hear it or not but AC is on full blast got it cooling down I'm gonna head home take a shower I probably sweat out about 33 pounds today uh, it was a brutal one it was hot but definitely one of the more difficult trimming jobs that I've ever had to do solo uh, definitely would have been nice to have uh, have a hand on this one but it is what it is we got it done got it knocked out trailers loaded gonna be taking and dumping that probably on Monday because I believe the place I go to is closed for today and they're not open on Sundays so Monday we'll be going to dump this load of debris uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, hopefully you liked the footage what I could get of it uh, my phone died unfortunately due to the heat and the battery drain both the heat and the battery just drain killed it I couldn't even turn it on for about two and a half hours. So, like I said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Take care. Y'all have a good one, and we'll see you on the next one.